Yo, what's up guys? This is Wormpal, the coach of the Stavanger Viking Wolves. Uh, today we are playing against uh, Team Mystic for our week 1 battle. Uh, his name is Frankie123 and his team name is Team Mystic. Um, AKA the worst Pokemon Go team. Um, so, uh, the 6 Pokemon I think he will bring are Mega Manetric, uh, Lenris T, Topifini, Nihilego, Latias, and uh, what's it called? Sharpedo. Uh, if you didn't see the team builder, here is the team we are bringing this week. So let's just jump into the battle. Oh, what? He did not bring the Landris. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, let's turn off the music and. And type good luck, have fun in the chat. Okay, uh, he really didn't bring what I was thinking he would bring. No Lotias either. Um, he does have the Snorlax, so I think that is what I need to keep my Scrafty for. <coughs> um, uh, what should we lead with? I think he might lead with either the Nihileko or the Mega Manetric, so maybe Greninja is not the best lead. Um, actually, let's turn the music on. Uh, uh, I could lead with Necrozma, just get off my rocks right away. Uh, what are his hazard removals? He has Default on top of Fini and Stealth Rock on uh, his more top. Yeah, I think actually I'm just gonna lead with this. Um, yeah. Wow, I'm really surprised he didn't bring the Landris. What else did he not bring? No Landris, no uh, Latias, and no <coughs> Torpedo. No oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I am pretty scared of a potential curse lag set, of curse rest, uh, stuff like that. But my answer to that, uh, I think, will either be the the, the what's it called, Scrafty, or maybe the Rotom to get a hold now a Toxic off. Uh, but I mean, he can do a lot of damage to the Rotom, so maybe. I should just switch in my scrap and intimidate off. Uh, he just goes for a toxic. Hmm. That's actually not too bad because I have rest, so I can easily get rid of the poison. Uh, will he stay in here? I don't think he will. But since he has toxic, I don't think he ha has curse, so that means I'm not really worried anymore. What will he switch into high jump kick? Probably the top of Fini, so maybe I can just knock off. Uh, yeah, let's go for knock off. Um, yeah, knock off whatever item the uh, top of Fini has. If I can knock off his like his his leftovers, for example, he has no way to to get recovery. I think. Yeah. Okay. Thinking. That means I think he is. Uh, I think sure he should switch to Hitmon top. Okay. Knock off his leftovers. Okay. Fair enough. Um, what do I switch into Hitmon top? I don't have rocks up, so uh, I'm not sure what he will do. I'm a dark type, so maybe he will just fire off like a close combat or something. So maybe I can switch into my menu crossma. I'll do that. Toxic on Hitmon Top as well. Wow. Actually, uh, does Hitmon Top get uh, knockoff? Let me check that. Hitmon Top uh, knockoff. It does not get knockoff. That's good. Uh, he does have a Sneasel, so. I'm not gonna use the Photon Geyser yet. Uh, yeah, I 
think yeah, let's accept the minox. Also, let me count how much uh, Sneasel does to my cross now. With uh, like a pursuit or something. Um, a pursuit from a choice bandit. Uh, uh, Sneasel does like 50%. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna set minox. Top of Fini, okay, that's okay. Um, he, he can't really hurt me, but I don't want to take too much damage from the Toxic, so I'm thinking maybe I can switch to to my Rogue Tom. But he did not bring Landry, so he, he does not have a ground type, which means I think I can just well, switch pretty freely. But he does have the Manetric, which could have, which could have, uh, what's it called? Lightning Rod. <laughs> Okay, just debox. Um, I could also fire off my C move here. He does not have a single grass resist. Oh, yeah, I think actually I might do that. Uh, let me check how much Balloon Doom does to his top Buffini first. A blue. Yeah. Oh, of course that kills. Um, <laughs> why do I need to count that? Um, what would he switch into my Rotom? Um, maybe the Mech of Lego actually. So let's uh, calc that. Rotom against Mech of Lego. Uh, Balloon Doom does 66 to 77%. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, should I do it? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Why not? Mm. Yeah, I think he's gonna switch into me a little. Uh, and then I have to switch into something because a sludge wave from him will most likely one shot me. What is my switch into him a little? Maybe a crossma? Yeah, I think it's the cross map. Or Scrafty, no, no, because I think Nihilago gets Dazzling Blink, so I don't want to switch into Scrafty. Yeah, he goes for Nihilago. This will not appreciate my Balloon Doom. 64%, okay. And his leftovers. Uh, he's not Scarfed, which is good for my Greninja. Um, he will most likely just Sludge Wave here. Let me see how much that does to my Necrozma. 35 to 42 if he's max attack timid. Um, and yeah, I think I gotta go with Necrozma actually. I don't have any other cool pursuit. He just sets up his rocks, okay. Uh, should I set my rocks back up? Uh, I don't have uh, any hazard removal, no defog, no rapid spin, so... Uh, actually, it, he can't really defog them away, because then he will get rid of rocks on my side as well, so... I think I can just set up rocks here. He he pretty much has to switch, because he does not want to take Photon Geyser from my Necrozma. I don't think he will stay in. Really don't. But uh, what moves would he run on Snail Lego if he has Stealth Rock? Maybe it's like an defensive set. I don't know. Uh, I I really want to go um, to go Altaria and just heal Bell up, heal Bell to get rid of Toxic on my and across my and my Scrafty, but. It is weak to fairy, and I think he will have moon blasts on this, or nature's madness. And also, uh, I don't think I lose anything if I just switch back into Rotom, because yeah, he he doesn't really get much out of this turn if he just defogs nature's madness. Okay, um, is he faster than me? Uh, if he has no speed, I should be faster than him. If he has any speed investment, which he probably will have, he will outspeed me, so let me check 
uh, I cannot get my calx back up great. Um, come on. Uh, okay, there we go. How much does top refill do to my Rotom with a new blast? 32, 36 with his new special attack. Should I pin split here maybe? Uh, but he might switch Nihil Lego and that. And I won't really get a lot of HP. Um, uh, um, uh, maybe I can just leave Storm. Hit whatever comes in. Uh, I don't think I really need both in this match. Actually, I'm just gonna pick it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna leave Storm. Which will maybe kill the new Lego afterwards. Snorlax, okay. 47%. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I definitely outbeat him. Um, so, maybe I just Toxic. Uh, I don't even know if I need to Toxic. Because he's not Gluttony. He's not uh, a berry, Super Berry. So, I don't know if he will have any recovery then. So I don't know if I need to, to toxic him. Uh, um, does he kill me with like a return? Actually I think I'm just gonna ball switch. And then switch into my Altaria maybe. This is my chance to to uh, heal well. Um, Yeah, he could have Ice Punch, so I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight uh, Okay, just goes for return. I take that really well. Um, here, I could... Last time he switched in the Hitmon top. I, he has Intimidate, so I can't really hurt him that bad. Um, I think maybe I just rest here. I already knocked off his item, so yeah, I'm just gonna rest. Okay, he goes top Fini now. Um. Oh no! Oh, misty terrain. Oh man. Wow. I don't think he predicted the the rest there, but wow, still really good play. Uh, now that my Rotom is low on health, I don't know if I have a good switch into Top of Fin anymore. Maybe I, maybe I can go with Crossma. Mm. Yeah, I, I should have kept my my Rotom more health healthy. Use Moon Blast 27%. Easy uh, damage. Uh, Okay, yeah, he, he outspeeds me no matter what, so... If he does not kill me, I... I get the... I get the Moonlight off. He gets two spe special attack drops. No, uh, yeah, special attack drops in a row. Wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, I really need to, to go into Altaria at some point. But I don't know how I can threaten the top of thing out because I have like no switches to to moon blasts. Maybe my mammal swine but now if he has like a water move that would be a bit bad. But I'm just in moon like and I think hope that he switches out he doesn't okay I think I need to switch here. Uh but what do I switch into? Do I need to sack something? Uh, last time I had my Rotom in, he switched out, so maybe he thinks he's slower than me. So, yeah, I, I think I think uh, I can live in the class after rocks, please. Nope, he gets it. I don't know if that mattered. Let me check how much he did last time. 
to my Rotom. Uh, where is it? No, no, he never, he never moved last week, so I don't know. Maybe it matters. Let it uh, should I go Greninja here and Gunk Shot? Then I'll become a Poison type, so his Moon Blast will be not very effective if he decides to go for that. Yeah, I think this is a good opportunity to make the Greninja Ash Ketchup. He does not have any switches to to my Greninja here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go and shot him. Should deal about 80 to 90 percent if he's max HP, no no physical defense. Ah, uh, this top of is even bigger problem than I than I thought it would be. Because my plan was just to switch in my Rotom every time, but I I completely <laughs> forgot about Nature's Madness. And those Snorlax just sacks that off. Did I miss? No, no, I had the gunk shot. Okay, <clears throat> first kill goes to Greninja. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, at least I'm not getting sick, so. <laughs> What would he switch? Uh, I think he has to go Manetric here. Then I. Yeah, because that's the only thing that will outspeed me. Or actually, Sneasel, if he's max speed, also outspeeds me. Um, but if he goes Sneasel, I think maybe I just switch to. to no, I cannot switch to. to Scrafty because it's low on health. Um, against Sneasel, maybe I just switch Mammal Swine. Same I do with the Manetric. Uh, I know Top Buffini is not faster than me. Nihilego is not faster than me. It's on top. I don't think it's Scarf. No, no, I already knocked off his leftovers. So, Mega Manetric and Sneasel are the only things that can. Potentially be faster than man, my Greninja. So I think he has to go into one of those. Uh, or maybe the Hitmon top as well, because I I can't one-shot him. Um, I I know I, I know that I one-shot the uh, Lego and I know that I feel like 80 to 90 percent to the top of Fini. So it's not so much. So okay, here comes the Manetric. Uh, I think I just follow my plan here, switch almost fine. Could also go uh, Altaria, uh, try to heal Bell, but I'm afraid he he might have Hidden Power Eyes and I predict that. I'm just going to a really safe switch. Uh, let's see what he goes for. Wall switch maybe? Thunderbolt, okay. That's good. Uh, he did not bring any of his uh, ground resists or his tangrove. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean his ground immunities, which are Landris and Lotios. And he did not bring the tangrove, so I don't see any problem quitting the earthquake here. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, he goes hit more top. Um, how much does this do? 24%. Ah, that's not much. But I think this is my opportunity to to switch Altaria. If I tank, I will take a close combat really well. Toxic is not a problem because I will heal Bell anyways. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have like Stone Edge and predicts the switch in. But even if he has Stone Edge, I think I I will live. Uh, I will live the Stone Edge, and I can just roost next turn, and I'm no longer flying type. So then he can't uh, really hurt me that bad. And I'm also really physically defensive, so no matter what he has, it's gonna do minimal damage to me. Oh, wow, this is really fun. 
and at the same time I'm really nervous. Uh, because it, we, I mean we are eight people in this league and only the top four people go into playoffs. So it's really important uh, to, to get a lot of wins. And the, the season is really short as well compared to most leagues. It's only seven weeks, so uh, every game will be really important. Uh, what else can I talk about? Uh, nicknames. Uh, Team Valor, I'm fine. I'm really hoping I can pick up at least one kill with, with the Mammoth Line. Uh, because it's called Team Valor, aka the best Pokemon Go team. That's why I want to win this game. That's not the only reason, but yeah, it helps. Okay, goes top with Finny. Uh, that's a pretty good double. Maybe he predicted my Altaria. Okay, so he's left orders. No choice scarf, which means he will not outspeed my Greninja. Why am I saying stuff like that? Of course he's not choice scarf. Moonblast does 53 to 63% to my Mega Altaria. Ah, that's not good. I cannot stay in on that. Wow, he's actually playing really good. Um, should I sack something here? No, I can't sack something. Uh, uh, what do I do? You cross him again? Photon Geyser, just get all some damage on this. How much does my Altari do to him? Hyper Voice does 30 to 36 percent. Ah, I have to switch. I have to switch. I have to switch. No Swine or or uh, the Cross Mom. Ah, Twenty-five percent. I live poison at 37. So I can live another Moon Blast. Um, yeah, I, now that my Rotom is gone, I actually really don't know how, how to get rid of this Top of Fini. Damn it. Uh, I should have put like leftovers or something on, on my Rotom so, so it could have lived uh, a bit longer. While I have the time, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do a health and check if that Moon Blast on the road to matter. Moon Blast crit. Uh, it says if he's no special attack, it should do 30 to 36 uh, percent, and it looks like it did it did 31. Uh, that was a crit. Ah, then it probably didn't matter. Nah, then it's not a big deal. Uh, also, let me check how much Photon Geyser does to his top with Finny. Because I really need to get some damage on this thing. Only 31 to 37. Uh, what about Earthquake from Namoswine? 45 to 53. That's pretty good damage. Oh, he. He. He me. Um, uh, I mean, what hit? What did he do last time? I had my Necrozma. Uh, yeah, that's when I switched into Rotom. I think I can go one more Moonlight. Nitro's Madness. Uh, can I... Can I switch... Greninja? No, no, I need Greninja. Maybe I actually just sack something here and then switch in Greninja and then Gunk Shot, hopefully kill him. If he switches out, then something else will most likely die. Except like Magic. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Fortune Kaiser here, I think. Please, no special attack drop. Phew. Okay, that's good. 36%. 
I don't know, he's not, he's not the, he's not specially defensive then. Um, do I need any crossbow for anything? Um, maybe Nihilego? No, no, I, I think I can deal with Nihilego. Like a ninja. If he has Stealth Rock, I, I don't think he will have Grass Knot for my Mammoth Swine, so that might be a good switching. So yeah, I'm just gonna let my Iron Cross move down there. Um, 77, let me double check how much uh, Gunk Shot from the Ninja does. 91 to 100. If he's, what about if he's uh, physically defensive? Old nature 68 to 80%. So it's most likely a roll. I mean, I gotta do it. I don't have anything else for, for the top of Feeny, so I don't have any choice. Uh, maybe he can just do a hit on top here. Ah, oh, no, I wish I brought uh, a certain level as well. Because these rocks are doing so much. Yeah. I thought this green ninja was going to do so well, but it turns out actually not. Uh, I mean, it still does pretty well, but I thought I could just like lead with my green ninja and just get a kill uh, every time I switch the pin. Um, but that's not the case, I guess he did bring the hitmon top, which is like the only thing that can actually take a hit from my ninja. Maybe his Silvali as well. Name is uh, his showdown name is Eat Your Veggies. I'm pretty sure I ate my vegetables for dinner today. No, actually, we didn't have vegetables for dinner. We had uh, pizza. Mm, pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking. Oh, well, I don't blame him. I I usually think a lot in my in my draft league battles as well, but now that I'm doing YouTube, I feel like I have to to play faster to to not get boring. Um, and I usually also calc like every single move, um, but now I don't really do that anymore. I think that's a good thing. Just in time, but I think it also might last pretty long in uh, these turns. It's already in six turns. Um, the, the other battles that have happened so far, I think, are much shorter. Um, I, I, I like saw I saw one battle was just like ten minutes. Um, the other one was like twenty turns. You don't know how the battle itself was because it was uh, like a post <laughs> um, Also I mentioned in my draft breakdown that a lot of the people in this league are doing YouTube but Frankie or Eat Your Veggies or Team Mystic aka the worst Pokemon Go team uh, he is the only person in this league who is not doing YouTube Why is he taking so long? 
maybe I will just cut out this part. I feel like it's been like five minutes now. Uh, I don't know if I should ask him if he's still there. I don't know if that would be rude. Uh, uh, Maybe he's uh, maybe he's eating his veggies. Oh, okay, switch Sneasel. This dies, right? Yes, it does. Second kill for Greninja. Woo! He forgot to he eat his veggies for for dinner, so so his mom came down with him. Uh, okay, let's talk about the game. Manetric. Uh, I think I still go. Um, Mama's line. Um, what would he do then? He would most likely just switch back into the hit on top. Uh, but maybe then I can like make a bubble into my Altaria or something. Um, I feel like I I need to to. To make some sort of play or prediction, um, like maybe I can like predict him to, I don't know, hard switch out here, predicting me to switch into mammals fine. I think I've played pretty safe so far this match. Uh, but I mean, I could maybe just if he goes top fin again, just sack something else like. Scratch for example, and then again go uh, Greninja and just get a kill on something. So I'm just gonna keep switching into to Mammoth Run again. <clears throat> um, I, I don't think. Actually, does a Thunderbolt kill me when I'm a poison type? Uh, even a trick. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, he. Oh, wow, he doubles into his Nico Lego. Wow. Um, that's an interesting play. Let me check if I actually kill him with Ice Shard. Because uh, Nico Lego's physical defense is just trash. Ice Shard does 35 to 42%. That's most likely not going to kill. Uh, the hardest he can hit me with will be a Grass Knot, which does 61 to 72 percent if he's timid. So I should live that, and maybe I can just kill it with Earthquake. Um, I really don't understand why he, he switched this. Maybe he predicted my Altaria. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just doing Earthquake. Oh, okay, he just has power gem. Oh, that's fine. Uh, well, that's my... I got I completed my goal. Got a kill with uh, Mammoth Wayne, aka Team Valor, aka uh, the best Pokemon Go team. Um, hashtag Team Valor in the comments to, to show who the best Pokemon Go team is. Okay, him on top again. Uh, do I think he will double into the top of Finny again? Uh, actually, what I should have done last time was just make evolve Motaria and go for Loose, so that, so that I do have Mega Evolution, so I can switch better into the like, main miniature again. And Self Rocks. Uh, maybe I can sack my Scrafty here. Because this is his only uh, physical attacker left, and I don't think I will get the rest off anyways. So I don't think I will ever get to attack with my Scrafty. But what will he do here? 
Uh, I think he will just close combat. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do I? If I switch Scrafty and he goes top with Finny, he just gets a kill. And I go Ninja. If I go uh, Altaria and he goes top with Finny, then I make a Volt and Roost. Uh, after he moves past, will be like about 50%, I think. Um, and then I switch into switch into what? Okay, I think this is plan. I I sack off Scrafty here, and then I go Greninja, get the kill onto something. Like actually, let me just double check that my Greninja kills his hit on top with probably high, uh, Hydro Pump. Uh, Hydro Pump 48 to 57%. That might actually not kill. Uh, Yeah, I'm still gonna sack Drafty, I think. Uh, if he stays in, goes for like a close combat, then I think I switch finally into Altaria and just make a ball in the roost, something like that. Uh, and then he has to switch out. And if he does go top with Finny now, I, I let my Scrafty die. And then I go Ninja, and that should be guaranteed kill if I just go for gun shot. Because I think uh, even at this range for the main metric, it's at 76%. I think maybe even then it dies to gun shot from my my Greninja, or maybe not because he has to intimidate. Let me kill that. Metric versus Green Ninja. Uh, yeah, going shot uh, after Intimidate was 50 to 59 percent. So you should love that. Uh, but then I, uh, I'm, I'm going to do it. Let's just see what happens. I'm still going to get Sex Crafty. I think it's really hard here to tell who's in the lead and uh, who I think will win. Uh, I mean, I do have more Pokemon left than him, but uh, I mean, he his top of Fini just does pretty well against all of my team and most of my Pokemon are pretty low, like Scrafty is so low it can't do anything. Mammal Swine is also pretty low, maybe I can get uh, like a Ice Shard off or something, I don't know. Um, but it can't do much either. Um, so hopefully uh, I will just have to, to sweep with my Greninja. Okay, he does stay in. Um, I think that's good actually. Because now I can finally make a roll my Altaria. Or I could go Greninja here because after the special defense drop Hyper Pump should kill but then I don't think I will have the chance to make a Volt Altaria later uh, no if I go Altaria and I roost he just switches to Buffini and I have to sack, sack something else so I think Greninja is actually my play here um, and then I go for Hydro Pump. Let's say he switches. In which case, he switches into his top of Finny. And then I Gunk Shot. That should kill him. Maybe he switches back into his more top to get Intimidate. And just try to kill me with my own Life Orb Recoil. Uh, actually, does Gunk Shot kill? Kill the Hitmon top from here. Uh, 
top is at minus one and I don't have an intermediate slot. Gunshot does oh wow uh, how does this do so much? 83 to 98 wow okay uh, Gunshot and Hydron also has the same accuracy so I think it's just gunshot here actually. Yeah I am gonna gunshot. It would kinda suck if he switches Manetric now, but I, I don't think he would just sack his Manetric like that. He's risky taking a... What's it called? Hydro Pump. And Hydro Pump, I believe, kills the Manetric from him. Well, I think this last couple of turns... Uh, might actually even um, decide the entire game because I feel like anyone, any of us can still win this game. Oh, I'm so nervous. Ugh. I feel like I actually kind of underestimated uh, Frank here. Oh, please hit. Yes. And top goes down. And Greninja gets its third kill. Wow. Okay, Minetric. Can I still switch in my Mammal Swine and live like an Overheat? Or I think Overheat is the only move that can actually kill me. Uh, but if he goes Overheat, um, he goes to minus two special attack. And then I can just go Altaria. Or do I switch Altaria in now? Oh, what's the problem? <clears throat> Let us think. If I go Mouseswine and he kills me, I have to go uh, Altaria. Then he will switch into Topofini as I go for Roost. I cannot do any damage to the Topofini. So I might actually have to sack my... My... Uh, my Greninja... No, no, my Altaria. And switch into Greninja and his Mega Minetri outspeeds my Greninja. So I will probably lose if I do that. Does that mean I have to switch... Um, into Altaria. Does Mamoswine outspeed Topofini? No, it does not. Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, oh man, I really wish I, uh, I had Mega Vols my Altaria. Let me calc this just in case. Let's see if he actually does uh, one shot me. No, not one shot, but if he does, if he two shots me. Uh, how do I cap this normal Altaria? Um, and the dragon flying, let's say. Thunderbolt does 40 to 48. That definitely. I might even one shot me after Star Fox. Uh, this is so hard. Uh, may actually. You know what? I think I have to. You have to go to this one. I, yeah, I really need to keep my my green because that's the only thing that can. And they can actually kill his top of Finny. No, no, he's not done thinking, so I have some more time as well. Um, let's see, he does have overheat. Uh, then how much does that do to my... To my line 34 to 41. And I am at 43%. After rocks, I will be like... 37 I believe so it's a roll if he will it's roll if he will kill me 
Actually, the question here is... Would he Thunderbolt? Uh, would he Hidden Power Ice? No, he would not Hidden Power Ice. Would he Thunderbolt? Predicting me to stay in or switch to Altaria? Or would he... Uh, overheat? Or switch into Top Finny, predicting me to go Mammoth Mine? Um, if he overheats and I switch Altaria, I think maybe I can live another hit. Uh, and if he Thunderbolts and I go Mammoth Swine, does he just lose then? Um, no, uh, I, I actually I'm actually gonna go Mammoth Swine. Hope for the best. I think he actually. Um, I I actually have no idea what he would do here. Um, I think I'm gonna lose. Sorry, just a sec, he says. Why did he say sorry just a sec? Um, he's probably still eating his veggies, maybe? No, you, he's gotta get his daily dose of carrots and potatoes. Um, and artichokes and uh, lettuce. Um, He can't possibly be thinking for this long. He has to be eating his veggies. Yeah, I, I know he's, really, he's eating his veggies. Maybe I will cut out this part as well. Oh man, this is gonna take forever to upload and edit. And render. And I don't want to blame uh, Frankie. Because he's probably doing something else. I mean, it's not his fault that, that uh, nobody told him to, to eat his veggies. Let me find out uh, when we started battling. I actually don't remember. We started the battle at like 2323. 23. Uh, now it's 10 minutes. Uh, AM. I don't know if you can say that, but it's fine. I mean, actually, what what is what is it? This uh, what is this time thing called? Is it eleven minutes uh, AM, or is it maybe like? I think maybe I've seen something like twelve and eleven PM. I'm not sure. We don't use AM and, uh, and PM where, where I live. We just say 11 minutes past 12. Actually, there's probably no point of me saying this because I'm most likely just gonna cut out this part anyways.
Nah, he's, he's probably spent like 10 minutes now in this room. How many goddamn veggies are you eating? Uh, list of vegetables. Oh, he made his move. Oh, what did he do? He toxics. Okay. Um. Uh, he brought Toxic on like three Pokemon when he has the top of Fini with Misty Terrain. He he will just one shot me here with not one shot me but but kill me with a flamethrower or or, or or eat anything. So I think I just like Ice Shard get some some extra damage off. Yeah, I'm just he switches into his top of Fini. Okay. Why would he do that? Maybe he doesn't have a fire type move or anything to to hit my mouse wine. Uh, and he's just gonna outspeed me here as well, kill me. So I don't know if I should ice shard or maybe earthquake instead. He does something else. No, I, I ice shard. Every little percent of damage is important. Okay, he <laughs> blast. Uh, do I do I just go Greninja here? Uh, how much percent am I at? Thirty-three percent. So after Stealth Rock, I will be at like twenty. Uh, so I have like. Two moves before I die to write the recoil, and I can just gunshot him, kill his top Finny. Who has a good question? Uh, does my Mega Altaria beat his Minetric 1v1? Oh, I think that might be the one. That might be a very good question. Uh, let me check if Gunshot kills his uh, miniature 50 to 59 percent. He is at 64, so yes, Gunshot should kill after rocks. I think he does stay in, and I do finally knock out the top of him. Oh, hmm, I really don't know though if. If my Altaria can beat his Manetric, I think it can. In Power Ice, I believe, is the move he hits me the hardest with. 36 to 73%. Uh, well, I think I should one shot him with Hyper Voice. Wait, let me just check what moves Mega Manetric can learn. Please don't get like Sludge something, no? No poison type moves? Uh, in power poison, he's not gonna have that. Steel, uh, iron tail should not be a problem. I don't think. Okay, I just gotta attack my opening chair. Four kills, that's really good. Okay, I don't need to calc anything anymore. Uh, or should I? I think actually both hyper voice and earthquake should kill. Uh, uh, if he does not have Intimidate Drop, the Earthquake should do more. Okay, please, please let me live. Whatever he goes for, please don't crit me. Uh, please, oh. Yes! I live! <laughs> Good game to Frankie. Really good game. I'm really happy about that game. I think both of us played. Yeah, that was that was an amazing game. 
Uh, both of us played really well. Or actually, I don't know how well I played, but I know that Frankie played really well. And I thought I had a really good matchup and that I would uh, <laughs> win pretty easily just because my Greninja did so good. But yeah, again, GG to Frankie. And uh, I will see you for my next week battle when I believe we are playing against uh, Kennedy Ryan. Uh, the host of this league. So I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.